The Sith are treacherous, conniving, and all around untrustworthy, and are in a way almost meant to destroy one another, and while the rule of two accounts for this, one man believed he had the power to stave off the inherent nature of the Sith through his power alone. This man thought that if he could truly possess enough power, that he could make all bow before him, even the Sith. This man was Darth Krait, and today we will be talking about his rule of one Sith. The rule of one Sith was a philosophy developed by Darth Krait. The rule of one meant that there were multiple Sith in the galaxy at a single time, but that they all served the goals and desires of one master. One master of the dark side that would stand above the rest and govern over the order of the Sith. The rule of one Sith, similar to the rule of two, was made to ensure that the most powerful among the Sith order ruled supreme, only instead of limiting the Sith numbers to two at a single time, it allowed the Sith to expand and accumulate more into their ranks. The rule of one operated under one necessity, and that was that all other Sith undyingly served one master. Darth Krait developed this as an answer to the flaws he saw in the rule of two. Krait saw no reason to limit the number of Sith in the galaxy, and saw it as a detriment to the order. In order for such a philosophy to be integrated, however, the Sith in command needed to be so extremely powerful and wise that his servants would not even wish to oppose his will, despite their inherent desire to. Krait's views on the Sith differed from Bane's, who was the original architect of the Rule of Two. Krait's goals were what the power he wielded could grant him, and Bane believed that power in itself was the ultimate goal of the Sith. Krait, unlike Bane, was dissatisfied with having power on its own, but desired and craved more. Krait constructed the Rule of One with the ideology that there was one Sith that embodied the entire order in and of itself, and that the rest were all mere extensions and means of this one Supreme Dark Lord's desires. The Rule of One was meant to exterminate the Sith's own selfish desires, instead working towards a universal goal similar to the Jedi. However, different from the Jedi, the Sith fought for one Dark Lord and not peace. Under this rule, the Sith again trained with the Soul Master to develop their skills, and upon completion of their training, in order to prove allegiance to the one true Dark Lord of the Sith, the Apprentice had to kill their master upon order of the Dark Lord, throwing away loyalty to their once master and devoting themselves fully to the Rule of One. Before the time of the rise of Krait, Sidious also toyed with the idea of the rule of one Sith, seeing the completion of the rule of two with his rise. Sidious believed he would rule and live forever as the Emperor of the Galaxy, and that the rule of two would be no more, as he represented the culmination of its usefulness. This is in fact why Sidious began training others in the Force after the rise of the Empire, other than Darth Vader, such as the Inquisitors or Emperor's Hands. Although Sidious never took the leap and deemed any other Sith Lords before his death, he was considering it heavily, and eventually planned to. Even Darth Plagueis before him planned on becoming a Soul Dark Lord and living forever until he eventually encountered Palpatine and was awed by his command of the Force, thus taking him as an apprentice. Darth Tenebris, who was the master of Darth Plagueis, actually deduced using his vast intellect that one day there would be a Sith powerful enough that he would never need to be overthrown and could rule forever if they so chose. The big difference, though, between Sidious and Plagueis' rule of one and Krait's is that they desired to rule and live forever, but Krait in the beginning desired for the title of the Soul Dark Lord to be passed on upon his death. But like most Sith do, when Krait became older, he too searched for a way to live forever, and this was in fact a piece that led to his ultimate betrayal. One of Krait's most trusted servants, Darth Warlock, saw Krait was becoming less and less focused on the goal of acquiring the galaxy under the rule of the Sith, and more concerned with extending his own life. Because of this, Warlock betrayed Krait at his weakest, stating he had lost sight of the purpose of the rule of one Sith. After this betrayal though, Krait lived on, discovering the elusive secret of preserving his life, and later returning to his order, killing the usurper and again seizing his throne. There is no better way though to explain the rule of one and the way it differs from the rule of two than to read from a direct conversation between both of the order's creators. Darth Bane, this was my lesson, two Sith should there be, no more. One holding power, one desiring it, you defy my teachings. Darth Krait, I have improved on it, instead of two, there is now only one, the Sith order itself. I have recreated the Sith, Lord Bane, as you once did, I have given it a purpose, for what use is power without one? Darth Bane, power is its own purpose. To share it is to dilute it. You delude yourself, pretender. Your order will turn on itself and you. In the end, both views share advantages and disadvantages. The major downfall of the rule of one being that the one Dark Lord needs to be extremely wise and exponentially more powerful than the other Sith. 
Luckily enough for Crate, he fell under these necessary requirements, for a time, but these are not easy things to achieve, and are impossible to maintain. The best way to determine the superior philosophy is the results. Darth Bane's rule of two was one that lasted thousands of years and eventually won the Sith the galaxy, and the rule of one, although extremely progressive for a time, faltered and betrayal and infighting returned within a decade of its establishment. The irony here is that in order for the rule of one to be sustainable, the leader needs to live forever and never stop growing in knowledge and power, and the second they falter, even for a moment, others will be waiting to stab them in the back. Anyway, that is the Sith rule of one. I adore its creator Darth Krayt, as he was extremely revolutionary and powerful, and ranks among one of my favorite characters of all time, not just within Star Wars. I hope to do a future video all about Krayt and his power, so stay tuned for that. So tell me how you feel about the rule of one Sith, and which do you find to be superior, the rule of one or two? Also, be sure to check out my video all about the philosophy and story behind the rule of two. May the force be with you, and have a great day.